Hey, how's it going guys? It's Crafty Fox, and today we are making another Dutch train. So this is the Netherlands Railways DDZ, and it's uh, EMU, which is electric, and this is actually the modernized DDAR, and uh, this is actually part of the new intercity double-decker yeah, that's just the acronym D. <laughs> There's a lot of acronyms to this. It's called like the NID, and this is the DDZ, and it's part of the NS. And also, by the way, if you have my um, Kaploper over here with the ICM, this is actually uh, one block taller. So I was actually off by a block. So that might be the reason why it looked kind of weird. Um, besides <laughs> people saying four blocks wide, but I think the main problem with that it was just one block shorter than it needs to be so if you have this please upgrade it just add like this yellow block layer right above the windows and it should be fine uh, but back to the DDZ okay so before we start building this let's go over the train set so there's actually three or four types of cars that are part of this and there is this end car and now this one only has like one level here with a pantograph on top and there's also these coaches uh, one of them has no window on the side probably because there's like a bathroom and another one has window on both sides so there's not really much difference between that and there is also another type of car which is the double decker cab car right here in the back without a pantograph and it's a lot like the regular uh, coaches right here in the middle so I actually built a six car train set uh, there is a version where you can have uh, four cars so you don't have to build as much. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much what I have. So let's start off with the single level cab car. So we're going to take out gray concrete. And it is going to be four blocks wide on narrow gauge track. We're going to have a two by two gray concrete. Let's add upside down stone brick stairs on the bottom sides of it. And I hope I don't get stuck there. Above that, we're going to add pistons. Then we're going to take gray concrete again, add a row of four right after it. And now for this uh, middle part, we want to make it so that it is 34 blocks long. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. Let's go to the back, all the way around. And next we're going to add uh, stairs right here, which is kind of like a ladder. So have upside down stone brick stairs with a stone brick slab on the bottom of that. Have that on the other side, like so. And then we're going to add uh, let's add the wheels. So we're going to take out hoppers for the wheels, which I like to use, and just put in the middle. So right in between these slabs, we're going to have that first one. So we'll have a 2x2 two two hopper, skip a block, 2x2 two two hoppers again. In the middle of that, we're going to add stone brick slabs like that. Then we're going to go to the back of this car and add our hoppers right there. So skip two blocks. Add a two by two by two hoppers, skip block, two by two hoppers, then fill in the middle, stone brick slabs. Then skip a block and add stone brick slabs right here. Then there's gonna be like this box section which is five blocks long of gray concrete. So one, two, three, four, five. Could make it two blocks wide, and on the sides of that we're gonna add upside down stone brick stairs on the sides of it. And then right on top of it, we're going to add gray concrete blocks here as well, like so. Now let's go to the other side. We're going to skip a block and then do the same thing with five blocks long, gray concrete, two blocks wide, have stone brick stairs popping out the sides of it, and also on top of it. And the whole, one thing that's weird about this chain also is that this actually has like three uh, bogies on this car so that's that's a little bit weird so next we're gonna take out a uh, gray 
which is our stone brick slab, add two blocks here. Block the space between that and that stairs. So that's going to be right below the double doors and we're also going to have that right above this section as well in the back. Then we're going to take out oak wood uh, slabs, add it alongside the sides as well, all across the floor of this. And oh yeah, I forgot to add the bogey, which I will do very soon after this. So yeah, just fill that up all the way. Then let's put our middle bogey. So we're gonna take out hoppers, two by two here. Skip a block, another two by two. And in the middle of that, let's add stone brick slab like that. And that should be our bogey. So next, we're gonna add our layer of yellow concrete. And before we do that, let's add one bedrock in the middle right there. Okay, so we're gonna take out yellow, <laughs> yellow concrete, add it around, and make sure you don't go above where uh, the stone brick is, because that's where the doors are gonna be. But besides that, you just go all the way around, because it is one big yellow stripe. And the back, I don't think you need to add that since there is uh, the gangway. Oh, and I missed this part. Oops. All the way back to the front. All right, so next we're going to add a bit of front detail. So we're going to take stone buttons, add that to the sides. And then we're going to take a lever, add it to the bottom of this part so we can stick out our buffers like so. Do the same thing on the other side. And we're going to take out lapis lazuli, add a layer of four in the front, followed by a layer of glass, which I use black, and then another layer of lapis lazuli. And then we're going to go take out yellow concrete once again and we're going to add a stripe that goes all the way to the back again right over here on this top layer and we're still not there yet alright there we go now you can go around and do the same thing I might have to make this like two parts long since it is kind of a long train. All right, so next we're gonna add our door. So let's take birch doors. Just place it where these uh, stone brick slabs are, or rather just the stone brick. And whoops, I did not do this side well. Completely forgot about that. And the side. All right, cool. So next, we're going to add some more yellow. So we're going to fill up this part. And one block past the door, it seems like. That's what I did. Kind of like this L shape. And then we're going to switch it up to lapis lazuli. So add it between the doors and then after. And then it goes up diagonally. Add two of them right there. And I did the same thing on the side. And let's go to the back. Uh, we're going to fill in four blocks here and one in the front. Same thing over here. Then there should be yellow concrete. Yeah. Sort of just goes, continues on all the way throughout the bottom, except for like that NS logo, I believe. We're going to have to add that once we get the windows. So then we're going to take bedrock, add a block right here, diagonally up from the back. Same thing over here. And on this one, I added a gray wool block right above there. So next, we're going to add the windows. So we're going to take out our black stained glass block, add two blocks long, then skip a block, and keep on adding these windows till we reach the front. Do the same thing on the other side. A 
like that, and we're going to add lapazuli right here in the middle of it. Just continue the stripe. Then the other side. Like that, and the rest should just be yellow concrete all the way to the back. Cool, and then we're going to add <laughs> this connection right here. So there will be like this uh, stone brick slab right here. And the sides, we want to have a dark oak wood fence gate. And we want to place it right here on the sides. I'm just using blocks so I can place it there. Like that, because it is sort of like this wire. Probably has to do with like the air brakes or something like that. And then we're going to take out gray wool. Add a 2 by 4 it seems like. It is pretty, a pretty big gangway. <laughs> and then there will be like um, this flat section right here. So let's do that. Uh, right now, so um, let's add the oak wood first. So let's make it so it is 20 blocks long. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And it's just a random number I came up with. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side, but skip these two blocks in the front, or rather the back. Should make them the same length. If you don't get exactly 20, it doesn't really matter because it's just the arbitrary number. So then we're going to take um, stone brick slabs. I guess just fill in this whole area in, and I don't even know how long this is. I guess. I'm guessing it's eight blocks long. I think it is. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, it is eight. Then we're gonna have to add our catenaries, or rather, um, pantographs. So there will be skip this block here, and then three stone brick slabs, and then one like that. So it's like an L shape. Then this one's raised up, so that is stone brick stone brick slab right there, and then another one diagonally, and then another one diagonally, and then it boomerangs back this way, and then another one for this top layer. Hope this is not too confusing for you guys. But it should look like this. And then we're going to take out lapazuli, add two blocks in the middle, go all the way to the front. <laughs> all right, and then once we get to right here, we're going to skip this block and fill it up with stone brick slab. And this is supposed to be blue, but we don't have blue slabs. And then we're going to add a vent right above this blue stripe down below. And the other side, we're going to add two above the doors, so like that. And the rest should be oak wood slabs, so just fill that in. Other side, same thing, just fill it in. See, it didn't really matter how long it was. All right, so now we can add uh, some more fence on the side, which is some detail. So go to where like the first two windows here and just add these two ladders on the sides like that and lapis lazuli right under this window. Then we're gonna go to the back two windows, add it right below these two. Like that, the pillar and then the second to last window. For the other side, the logo is right here. And why is this part empty? I probably need to fill that in with yellow concrete. So let's do that. All right, so the second to last window, lapis and there is vents, which are right here. And then we're gonna add between the first two windows once again like that and that should be pretty much it for the first car of this or rather uh, the car that has like the single level okay so now we're gonna make the coach so we're gonna take out gray concrete 
Added two blocks above the checks, two blocks wide, and 40 blocks long. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 40. Yeah, it's probably like one of the longest coaches that I have ever built. So let's do the other side. And fun fact, uh, Netherlands, they're actually, a lot of the coaches are like 40 blocks long. That's why I noticed like the ICM and the NS Verm. And this is actually 40 blocks long too, so that's pretty good. All right, so next we're gonna add our hoppers. So let's go down here. Uh, skip a block, actually skip two blocks, add two by two hoppers in the middle, skip a block, two by two hoppers again. In the middle of that, let's add stone brick slabs and also in the front of that. Then we'll go, go to the other end and it's pretty much the same thing. So let's add our stone brick slabs right there, skip a block before that and then two by two hoppers. Then stone brick slabs again two by two hoppers and uh, in this middle part we're just going to use uh, stone brick slabs so that it's two blocks wide just go fill in this whole bottom area because it is a by level I guess this is where the floor is actually yep just filling it in if you're making an interior to this which I'm not even sure if there's any room enough because it is four blocks wide but if you would, I guess you would remove uh, that gray concrete once we fill in the walls of it. So let's fill in the walls. We're going to take out our yellow concrete. Go right above where the slab is in the middle. And just fill up the sides with it. All the way across. Till we reach the part before the hopper. And let's just do the other side. Okay, so then we're going to add stone brick, or rather oak wood stairs. Just put it upside down right here at the ends of it. Then we're going to take out stone brick slab, add two, because this is where the doors are going to be. And another pair on the other side. like that and the rest should just be oak wood slabs uh, four blocks long then do the other side like so all right so next we're going to add the doors so just get our birch doors at double doors right here you want to make sure they all uh, fit together like that Kind of weird how we're placing the doors before uh, the actual hole though, but that's the order the video is in. So next we're going to add yellow concrete, uh, a stripe right here in the front, and one block after the door. Same thing on the other side. And then we're going to have like lapazuli. Uh, before and after the door and also one at the end of the car so that there will be room for the windows and then we're going to start to add it right down below so go down diagonally add lapis azuli block skip a block add another one other side same thing and then we're gonna skip two blocks, add one, skip two blocks, add one, and keep on doing that till we fill up this whole area so we can put our windows down. Okay, so let's take out yellow concrete and add a layer right here. Just go all the way across with this and it is four blocks long again so we're placing a lot of blocks down I think after I'm going to do the front then I'm going to fill in the windows 
so I don't have to switch blocks. La la la. <clears throat> so the next layer, uh, this will go one block past the door, so just add another yellow layer, but just go like that. One block past the door. Other side, same thing. Cool. And then we're going to take out um, our lapazuli block, add one right here, skip a block, another one, same thing. Both sides. And actually, these windows on top, for mine, they align with the ones on the bottom. So just do the same thing that we did on the bottom. So there's gap of two between all of them. All right, so now we can add a row of yellow down here on this layer. Just go all the way across. Same thing on the other side. Then we're going to take out our black stained glass block and add it in these holes between all of the pillars. And after that, we are pretty close to finishing up this coach, actually. It's not much else that I added to this. Then this side, do the same thing. Gotta get rid of that empty glass and make sure you do the sides as well. Mm. Okay, so... That should be... Okay, <laughs> I thought I was done, but I didn't do the top level. What? There's a lot of windows to place. Alright, that should be the last window. Okay, so now we can add our stone brick slabs and that's going to be above all the double door windows. Did I just say double door windows? I mean double doors. Just that. <laughs> ah. So just have that above all the doors and it's like some kind of vent. And then we're going to have oak wood slabs on the sides of the roof. This could go all the way across like this. Then this side as well, same thing. All the way across. And then we're gonna add lapsuli two blocks in the middle for the top of the roof. Like this, just go all the way across. And after this, we're gonna be making the other cab car. All right, that's it for uh, this car. Actually, wait a minute, we need to add the logo. Almost forgot that right here. So go to this window under it. We're gonna add Lapazuli. Then go to the other side, add another logo right here. So it's kind of like the third window from the edge from the left side. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, we're gonna use like the same uh, gangway and this connection thing up between all of the cars so that's the same thing and now we're gonna make uh, this last car right here and also it depends if you want to go like super realistic and accurate uh, you can have like the ones where they don't have a window it's really up to you if that matters <laughs> I don't know but yeah let's make this one alright so I just stacked all the coaches to meet the length and yeah, pretty much this car is similar to the coach, and we're just going to be modifying the end part. So once we get to here, this is where stuff gets interesting. So uh, we're going to take out these blocks right here, 
and we're going to install the door so let's take out our stairs and stone brick slab just add it right here for like the ladder and above that a birch door same thing over here birch door and uh, this is where the calves could be so uh, we're going to take out bedrock add it to one side which is here and then yellow right next to it then we're going to add a layer of lapis lazuli then a layer of glass so take out these holes take out those <laughs> blocks I mean and make a hole add the glass a layer of lapis lazuli then we're going to exterminate this part and then we're going to go diagonally up and add this uh, stone brick slab which is blue wool but we don't have that and uh, we're going to add the pistons so let's install that right here and stone brick slabs <clears throat> and also this part let's add two gray wool blocks or gray concrete I mean and then stone brick slabs or stairs on the sides I can't talk right now though then we're going to replace this one with gray concrete and below it we could add a lever also get rid of these slabs in the middle it's kind of annoying bam we're going to stick that out and I wonder what happened to my sound okay so then we're going to take out uh, stone buttons add that to the sides and then yellow buttons one up here right above the grill and one on the sides of it alright so let's go back to the front because I feel like I missed something yes I did miss if you go back to the front let's add our one buttons like this because I need these two and also it seems like I somehow forgot like the front coupler so let's add that uh, two stone brick slabs like that and yeah, that's pretty much it on how to build the DDZ from the Netherlands Railways. I hope you guys enjoy this video, and if you do, please hit that like button below and subscribe if you haven't already because I will be uploading more videos like this in the future, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.